Welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. This is Hedatullah with another new tutorial series. As we have uh, started a safe tutorial series and in our previous two video I have just shown that how we will open a model perfectly and also how we will define materials perfectly. Okay, according to ACI code. So, in this lecture I will just uh, show that how we will define our uh, another required properties. So, first of all I will open our CSS safe software and if you are new to our channel then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so that you get every update every day first so first then uh, we'll open our previous model actually by clicking here here is your previous model i'll open that because uh, you know that in previous lecture i have just uh, saved that so here is your previous model and i have defined our materials here the two materials we have defined that we'll use for our further work so press ok after that we'll go define so in this tutorial i will just show that how we'll define our uh, slab properties okay how we'll define our slab properties so to define slab properties simply we have to go here then uh, click here uh, add new properties so from here first of all i'll slab i'll uh, use slab five ins okay slab 5 ins so this is slab and from here um, slab thickness is 5 ins okay so it is done and also from here we will use materials property as fc prime 2800 psi right also you can change it from here and you can modify that um, it's done and our slab color this is the yellow okay done now just click here okay now I will delete that one so this is our slab 5 ins now we will mm, as we have uh, defined our slab and also just it, this is the initial value of slab that I actually uh, echo as per ACI code we cannot provide slab size more than 5 ins I mean less than 5 ins okay that's why I have uh, defined here 5 ins the minimum uh, thickness and if need we will increase that when we will design and analysis alright so after that here uh, again add new properties now we will add our foundation okay so f w t n g footing this is for our isolated footing okay this is for isolated footing i saw okay consider that this isolated footing and from here we have to um, click here this is footing okay this is footing and i'll consider our footing thickness is 12 inches okay and in further we'll uh, increase decrease according to our requirement just 12 inches and our materials is 2800 psa so press okay footing is okay after that i will again define our uh, mat 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 i will consider our uh, mat from here we have to select mat map from drum down list and i will consider our mat foundation like um, tenants okay and from here we will select on materials this is our material step done okay now again i will go here and from here I will just uh, select a this is the drop okay we can uh, use drop panel and stiff so rivet it I will just uh, if required I will define later so it's okay there that 4 is uh, 3 is okay at now so I'll just press cancel so this is we have uh, successfully defined our uh, footing for isolated footing for isolated we'll use that footing thickness for isolated and com combination both and if it's required to decrease or increase its size uh, after design then we'll do that and here is a slab thickness 5 inch and mat okay mat is 11 inch or uh, maybe 10 inch so however press ok after that we'll go here slab properties then we'll go for beam properties 
okay so uh, for beam properties i'll just uh, edit that to modify or show property so i'll just modify that so from here this is the beam okay i'll consider a beam uh, for uh, 12 into 10 i'll consider a beam as like 12 into 10 so it done and materials properties it's given and river mat river it's 66 it's done also the color we can change our color from here anything we can give any color from here like that so here property not i'll not change that so after that analysis property data actually uh, from here you will be able to uh, select any kinds of this is the beam shape type so actually which types of beam we are selecting so here there have many types rectangular beam t beam l beam and general beam so this is for rectangle beam just we have to for rectangle beam we have to give the web width at top web width at bottom so here's the bottom and top so as our uh, bottom and top are 10 so we'll give 10 inch and just see here when we have provided 10 inch in top it's being like a tapered beam so i think uh, you can change that according to requirement and in our bottom i'll just use again 10 okay now see here it's being same after that here depth what will be depth depth will be 12 so here is our beam okay it's done now there have a design property data flange dimension from analysis property data flange dimensions automatic from slab um, properties and flange dimension user defined so i will just select first one and then here done okay okay this is the beam size 10 into 12 and also i just want to show that if you want to use another types of beam uh, like uh, add new properties so from here this, that is the beam suppose this is a beam on and from here if you want to use t beam okay so to use t beam just it's showing the web width at top 12 web width at bottom 12 right then depth what will be the depth actually this is 24 then flange width what will be the flange width actually okay uh, the flange width will be what is the flange width flange width will be suppose uh, 8 okay 18 just see here mm, it's a sorry uh, we have to change our flange width will be 12 and our web will be 8 and also here 8 just see here so like that uh, and also what will be the depth of our slab so this is this represents us depth of slab like that so what will be the depth of slab suppose uh, depth of slab will be uh, 5 inch so just see here this is the 5 inch uh, like slab thickness okay and this is the total and total depth us depth are given here uh, total depth are given here uh, 24 if you can decrease this 18 so like that so in this way just you can use your t beam so if you also also you can use inverted t beam just see like that by clicking here and uh, by clicking here show properties so from here you can also uh, see the properties it will automatically calculate everything moment of initia moment of initia is 133 three, moment of initia is uh, 1 to 2 here is the 1 uh, minus 3 I mean uh, here 3 mens the y axis at uh, 2 mens y axis and uh, 3 mens x axis ok so um, it's done after that if you want to use L beam so here to use L beam just this is 12 12 depth is 24 this is uh, we can change that 8 and also it just see here this is like l beam okay inverted beam so here is the inverted so like that way actually uh, according to requirement this is the 5 
if you consider this is the l-beam so in this way just uh, we can change our uh, materials and uh, from uh, i mean the clear cover how to be the clear cover actually has the three inch three inch so i'll just uh, go back in this way just you can uh, define your beam properties and i'll double click here to modify and here it's showing us the clear cover okay clear cover so I'll just clear cover 1.5 inch also i'll give your clear cover 1.5 inch so this is our clear cover so i'll just press ok and press ok so we have successfully uh, defined our uh, slab properties and beam properties in CSSF 2016 so in our next tutorial series i will just show you that how we'll define our column properties and then how we'll define our soil subgrass properties so oh uh, thank you thank you very much and if you think that that's helpful for you then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon and don't forget to share our video and leave a comment because your uh, one like and one comment inspires for the next work so thank you thank you very much